The first wave of 343 pilgrims departed the Banjul International Airport on Thursday afternoon. A total of five chartered flights have been scheduled to transport 2,000 Gambian pilgrims, and authorities have selected the Ethiopian Airlines to fly all Gambian pilgrims. The initial phase of this operation will continue until Sunday, 18 June 2023. The Minister of Local Government, Lands and Religious Affairs, Srif Abbasanyang, accompanied by his permanent secretary, the managing director of the Gambian International Airline, the president of the Supreme Islamic Council, officials of the High Commission and the five travel agencies, were present to bid farewell to the pilgrims. Minister Sanyang expressed gratitude to God for allowing the departure of the first flight of High 2023 pilgrims. On behalf of the government and the entire Gambian people, the Religious Affairs Minister convey well wishes and prayers for a safe and fulfilling journey for all pilgrims. Actually, I've been telling the pilgrims that Mecca is a place. The reason why we go there is because there are things that aren't here where we are living in. So, and we need to be a broader skipper. Some people are too lazy, some people are sick, some people are handicapped. We must help each other to proceed. I thank the GIA director for his stewardship of almost all the operators that we have. He has been steadfast to make sure we have the airline in time, we go for the accommodations in time, we go for every process that the Gambians would did, we have gone for it and we have achieved tremendous successes in all of them. They are all going to be together in Medina, they are going to be together in Minna, they are supposed to be together in Makka itself. They have bus services that will take them, we have escorts that will be at least able to help, at least every 20, 10, 15 pilgrims dies an escort to help them through. According to the managing director of the Gambia International Airlines, Lamin Cham, Thursday's flight marks the beginning of the missions to transport some 2,000 pilgrims registered with the airline, with four other trips set to follow in the next few days. This year, Gambia has 2,000 pilgrims allocated by the Saudi government. So this year, 2,000 Gambians are going to perform Hajj. And today, uh, the first uh, badge of pilgrims are departing. Uh, numbering 343. Uh, we have five travel agencies uh, that have come together you know, to, to make up this flight that is leaving, leaving today. And then we have four subsequent flights to, to come. So by early Sunday morning, all Gambians would have departed to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to perform their Hajj. Uh, everything is in place and I can confirm that the accommodation arrangement in Medina and in Mecca you know, is in place and also they are working 24-7 uh, to ensure that uh, the feeding arrangements are also you know, intact. And by the time the uh, first badge of pilgrims arrived, uh, the ground would have been leveled to, to a greater extent. Musa Amulinyasi and Hule Jallo, both pilgrims, and Amiseri, the managing director of Obi Travel Agency, all shared their thoughts on the pilgrimage to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is my second trip to the pilgrimage. The first one I performed on my own behalf. And this time round, I'm going to perform on my late dad. Unfortunately, he could not perform Hajj while he was alive. So I'm grateful to the Almighty Allah for enabling me to perform Hajj on behalf of my parents. I am equally moving with them to Saudi Arabia so that if by chance we have any, uh, I mean, emergency or exigency in relating to documentation, I'd be there to stand before to support them. However, we are not expecting such, but then traveling, you may face challenges. So we are there to make sure that we address their problems. This year, I'm uplifting 155 pilgrims to Mecca. I've been in the industry since uh, 2008, when it comes to Hajj. And I've, you know, I would say I've been successful throughout because uh, there was never um, issues or hitches when it comes to Hajj um, operation. Other speakers, including the president of the Supreme Islamic Council, Sir Al Haj Esa Dabo, Permanent Secretary Buba Sanyang, and Imam Mohammed Lamin Ture, all expressed similar sentiments, praying for a successful and hitch free Hajj. The pilgrims who are poised to fulfill the fifth pillar of Islam will join millions of others from around the world, converging at the holy cities of Makkah and Medina to perform the religious rituals meant to cleanse them of their sins. Since its founding in 1996, the Gambia International Airline has been the national carrier, providing ground handling services at the Banjul International Airport, as well as transporting Gambian pilgrims annually to Saudi Arabia for Hajj. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.